On December 11th, 2022, hundreds of residents here on the island dressed in their favorite Christmas costumes and sweaters to attend the annual Light of the Night ceremony. This ceremony provided coloring for kids, food, activities, a Christmas movie, And there was even a special guest who came all the way from the North Pole to visit and take pictures with the people here on island. We got a chance to catch up with Mason Finley to tell us more about this event and his expectations for Christmas this year. I've been on the island for about 15 years and the event happening at the Imperium is light up the night where people around the island decorate their houses with a bunch of lights and just go around looking at the lights and like you rate how like, good they are. I don't really expect to get that much stuff because probably just clothes okay. and stuff. Alright. Any celebrations you and your family? Are you going to be doing any traditions? Probably just like Christmas dinner okay. with my family. Have a good Christmas. Be right. safe. We weren't able to get every house on the island, but Kwajalein residents decorated their houses to their personality of their favorite Christmas lights. We thank everybody for coming, and we hope to see everybody next year at the 2023 Light Up the Night here on Quad. I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2022 Annual Tree Lighting Parade Ceremony. We have a vast variety of performances, and events starting with the 2022 middle school and high school band here they come now the garrison and other local departments here on quash Use their Christmas cheer and creativity to decorate the MWR carts in correspondence with the parade events. Here are a few for your viewing pleasure. Following the decorated carts, it was the convoy of Mr. and Mrs. Claus and they had their very own entourage of assistants throwing out candy and gifts to the local patrons that were there to observe the parade events. This was an excellent bird's eye view that Mr. and Mrs. Claus had for the onlookers back home. They also had their own personal entourage following them in a bike parade following the events. We're going to go ahead and tune in to the local downtown area to see some performances. The first performance was about a junior and senior high school band with a live event for everybody to enjoy. There's nothing like hearing live holiday music in the festival event is Kwajalein. You guys did an excellent job. A great turnout. We supported a ton of underprivileged, uh, disabled children from Ebay. A lot of donations from the community to help support that. And this year, right now, on the tree, right now, we still have 14 children who need some sponsors. And so, uh, as you go through the night, this tree will be parked out outside of the RMA li li liaison office. If you feel like you can contribute, you want to, uh, you know, kind of sponsor a child, feel free to come up here, draw a name, uh, and then you can turn that stuff into the RMA. It's a great opportunity. It really supports, it provides some needed support to individuals and children who typically don't get a lot of support on eBuy. And it's a great event. It's a great opportunity for us to reach out and show our support for the RMI. So if you can think about that, this tree right there will be sitting out over there. And I highly encourage, if you have it in you, to go ahead and support. So thank you very much. There was a multitude of entertainment for that night. 
The Rack Attack Dancers started off the night, followed by the Sleigh Bells, the High School Band, and a variety of others. As the evening led into the late night, everybody was built on anticipation waiting to see the annual tree lighting ceremony if it was going to actually light on command. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holy crap! Woo! That is not tradition. <laughs> Everyone was very excited for the tree lighting ceremony, but there was also one more surprise left over, which was the island snow. Who says it doesn't snow here on the local islands? Thanks again for you guys watching in the 2022 tree lighting parade ceremony. We look forward to seeing you next year. Happy holidays. Oh, um, so my name is Harun Walid. Uh, I'm the Paris president for the uh, Queen of Peace Paris here on Ebay. Uh, this is my... Uh, uh, I think it's our first year eh, as a Paris council president. Uh, no, I was very uh, totally surprised. It got me by surprise. Uh, I didn't know that you know, we were going to receive you know, that uh, wonderful gift. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, of course, you know, we, we, we have a lot of needs for the church. We have a lot of needs for the church. Um, so, you know, we, we, we've always, you know, uh, wanted to reach out uh, to our benefactors and, you know, and ask for help financially. But really, you know, this is uh, beyond you know, what we expected. And of course, we will use the money for, you know, church development, hopefully uh, share with the schools and whatnot. Is it okay? Okay. Thank you.